Ready to go? Let's, let's count how many stories I have. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, and I brought this because I know you guys like it. Five. Remember how you guys were laughing about the hot dog story? Okay. All right. I think. I think we're going to need listening ears today. Let's reach up in the sky and grab yourself a pair of listening ears. Put them on. Mine are pink. All right. All right. Are you guys ready? Who's ready for one of my favorite stories called The Bed? Just so. I said. Are you ready for this story? It's one of my favorites. It's very old. Look at how little the book is and look at how old it is. But it's still one of my favorites. Are you ready? Once there was a tailor who fell asleep over his work every day. Every day. He was sleepy all day long because he couldn't get any sleep at night. Every night, when he began to fall asleep, someone or something pulled the covers off his bed. And all night long, the tailor thought he heard someone or something grumbling and complaining and stomping around. This can't go on, said the tailor. And so he went to see the wise old woman. I must be witched, old woman. She said, no. If you were witched, your feet would be on backwards and your hair would be growing upside down. No, she said, your trouble is that a hudgkin has come to stay with you. A hudgkin, said the tailor. What should I do? Make a bed for him, the wise old woman said, and then he will leave your bed alone. So, the tailor bought this big high bed for the Hutchkin. See how big it is? It's a very big high bed. It was big and high and made of oak wood. Now, said the tailor, you have your bed and I have mine. Let's both get a good night's sleep. But as soon as the tailor began to fall asleep, he heard a voice grumbling and complaining. Too high and too hard, too high and too hard. The next night, the tailor made a low bed of fern and feathers. But as soon as he began to fall asleep again, a voice woke him up grumbling and complaining. Too soft and too tickly. Too soft and too tickly. <laughs> every day the tailor tried a new bed for the Hudgkin. And every night that voice woke him up, grumbling and complaining. When the tailor made a bed in the cupboard, the voice said, Too dark and too stuffy, too dark and too stuffy. <laughs> Next he tried a hammock. What do you think? You think he'll like that hammock? Yeah. Maybe. But you know what? The voice only said, too long and too loose, too long and too loose. Yeah. The tailor built a little cradle. Look at that pretty cradle. You see it? Yeah. 
But the voice still complained. To teeter and to totter. To teeter and to totter. What does that mean? To kind of like swinging. The poor tailor could not find a bed to please that Hutchkin. I will never get a good night's sleep, he thought, and he was so very, very tired. But that night, the tailor cracked open a walnut shell. He looked at half that half walnut shell, and you know what it looked like to him? A little teeny tiny bed. Why not, thought the tailor. I've tried everything else. So, you see what it looks like, the little walnut shell? Okay. So he lined that walnut shell with cotton and peach down. And he put a maple leaf on it for a, a cover. And he set it on the windowsill. Soon he heard a happy humming sound. The tailor looked in that walnut shell, and there he saw a dot, no bigger than a mustard seed. Must be the Hodgkin, he thought. He shut his eyes, oh, so tight to listen. And he heard a very contented voice saying, Just so, just so. I like a bed made just so. And at last, the tailor finally got a good night. What did you think? Good. I saw little color. Yep. And I, actually, I forgot to bring the little um, walnut shell in for you to see. I have it in my office, and I will show you after story time. So did you like that story? Yeah. That's yeah. one of my favorites. You think it'll become a favorite of yours? That one is my favorite. That one is my favorite. Okay. All right. Next we're going to do, is your mama a cowgirl? Is that what the name of this book is? Is your mama a llama? Let's see how you guys are at guessing. Usually you're really, really good at it. So, you can guess what the animal is going to be. Are you ready? Ready for guessing? Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Dave. No, she is not, is the answer Dave gave. She hangs by her feet and lives in a cave. I do not believe that's how llamas behave. Oh, I said, you are right about that. I think that your mama sounds more like a... A bat? I'm going to say a hat. A bat? I'll close my eyes. Bat. Is it a bat? It is a bat. No, not the kind of bat. No, not the kind of bat that you swing. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Fred. No, she is not, is what Freddie said. She has a long neck and white feathers and wings. I don't think a llama has all of those things. Does a llama have wings and white feathers? No. Oh, I said, you don't need to go on. I think that your mama must be a goose. Swan. What do you think? Swan. Must be a, I'm closing my eyes because I think it's going to be a puppy. A beautiful swan. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Jane. No, she is not, Jane politely explained. She grazes on grass and she likes to say moo. I don't think that's what a llama would do, do you? Does a llama say moo? No. Oh, I said. I understand now. I think that your mama must be a cow. Elephant. Cow. 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 
Cow. You guys, you never miss anything. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Clyde. No, she is not, is how Clyde replied. She's got flippers and whiskers and eats fish all day. I don't think that um, llamas act quite in that way. Oh, I said, I'm beginning to feel that your mama really must be a cat. I'm going to close my eyes because I think there's a cat there. You guys. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Rhonda. No, she is not, is how Rhonda responded. She's got big hind legs and a pocket for me. So I don't think a llama is what she could be. Oh, I said, that's certainly true. I think that your mama's a lion. Ready to see a lion? And lion. A kangaroo. A kangaroo. Oh. Ah, one of these, I'll get them right. No. I'm never going to guess right? No. I think so. No. Is your, is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Lynn. Oh, Lloyd, don't be silly, Lynn said with a grin. My mama has big ears, long lashes, and fur, and you, of all people, should know about her. Our mamas belong to the same herd, and you know all about llamas, because you are one too. Yes, you are right, I said to my friend. My mamas are llama, llama. and this? is the end. You guys did some great guessing today. I didn't do so well, did I? You, you guess all of them right, all the time. I guess I'm not too good at guessing. You want to do the hot dog one next? Uh, we're going to do the lot those two. We'll do the hot dog because you guys thought this was so silly. It is pretty silly, isn't it? So do you remember what it's called? Hello, hot dog. All right, who's ready? Ready? Hello, hot dog. Can you guys say hello? hello. I think these kids want to eat you. Hello, he said. Hello. He's a very cute hot dog. What are you doing, hot dog? Just chilling out on this comfy bread with some corn and a couple of fries. That's all I'm doing. Hot dog, I hate to tell you this, but uh-oh, what's happening? Someone put, putting ketchup on them, huh? It's not looking good, is it, hot dog? No, it's not. I, I think I'm about to be lunch. Run, hot dog, run. Can't, got no legs. Wait, wait, I have a plan. I have a plan. I'll do a triple backflip. Fries act as a distraction. A stealth crawl. Shelter under the plate. M make a napkin into the parachute. Shh, and then I'm safe. Yeah. Think he can do it? No. Yeah. That sounds quite complicated. You're right. What was I thinking? I can't do a triple backflip. This is the end.
Don't give up hot dog. What can you do? I can roll. Hot dogs can roll. Right? Can they roll? Look, he bites into the hot dog. Chomp, and what happens? The hot dog comes right out. Whee! It worked. I escaped. Well done, hot dog. Whoosh. Although now I'm falling quite fast. Some would say too fast for a hot dog. Oh, there's his shoe. Are you okay, hot dog? Hot dog? Hello? His eyes are closed. I'm fine. Did you see that? Did you guys all see that? I was flying and now I'm free. Hot dog? Uh, hot dog. Hello, hot dog. Bye bye, dog. And that's the end. Yuck, he said. Mustard. And that's the end. Did you still did you still like that story? You like the hot dog story that much? All right. We have we have two more stories. All right. I know you never heard this. It's called Play With Me. You guys always have a playmate, right? No. You don't always have a playmate when you're in school? No. There's so many of you who no. play with each other. You're so lucky. All right, you ready? Play with me. The sun was up, and there was dew on the grass. And I went to the meadow to play. A grasshopper sat on a leaf of a weed. He was eating it up for his breakfast. Grasshopper, I said, will you play with me? And I tried to catch him, but he leaped away. A frog, jumping, 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 and he sat down by the pond. I think he was waiting to catch a mosquito. Frog, I said, will you play with me? And I tried to catch him, but he leaped away. Why do you think he leaped so fast? It's hard to catch them. A turtle was sitting, see right there on the end of that log. He was just sitting still, getting nice and warm in the sun. Turtle, I said, will you play with me? But before I could touch him, he plopped into the water. A chipmunk, oh, look at that little tiny chipmunk was playing. He was sitting beneath the oak tree, shelling an acorn with his sharp little teeth. Chipmunk, chipmunk, I said, will you play with me? But when I ran near him, he ran right up the tree. A blue jay came and sat down on a bough, and he jabbered and scolded the way blue jays do. Blue jay, I said, blue jay, will you play with me, please? But when I, when I held my hands up, he flew away. A rabbit was sitting behind the oak tree, and he was wiggling his nose, and he was nibbling on a flower. Rabbit, rabbit, will you play with me, please? And I tried to catch him, but rabbit ran into the woods. Then a snake came, and he was sneaking through the grass, zigzagging the and sliding the way snakes do. Snake, will you play with me? But even the snake ran down his hole. None of them, none of them would play with me. So I picked a milkweed and I blew off its seeds. 
Then I, I went to the pond and I sat down on a rock and I watched a bug making trails in the water. And I sat there without making a sound. And then Grasshopper came back and he sat down beside me. And then Frog came back and sat down in the grass. And Slowpoke Turtle, he crawled back to his log. And Chipmunk came and watched me and chattered. And Blue Jay came back to his bow overhead. And Rabbit came back and hopped right around me. And Snake <coughs> came back out of his hole. And as I sat there, without making a sound, so they wouldn't get scared and run away, out from the bushes where he had been hiding came a baby fawn, and he looked right at me. There he is. See the baby fawn? Because she was being so quiet. See? I held my breath, and he came near and nearer. He came so close to me, I could have touched him. But I didn't move, and I didn't speak. And Fawn came up and licked my cheek. Oh, now I was happy, as happy as could be, for all of them, all of them were playing with me. And that's the end. Did you like that one? You never heard that one before, did you? So see, if you're in the forest someday and you stay really quiet, a lot of animals will come to see you. But if you move around, you scare them so they don't sit down. I went to the forest. Can you hold them? You did. Can you hold them? I sometimes you can hold a little turtle if you find it. Sometimes, sometimes you're very fast. Yes, sometimes you're very fast. Yeah. All right. Here's our last story, and it's called Knock Knock. What do you say when I say Knock Knock? Who's there? All right, so you can answer me when I say Dad, knock, knock. Can I say something? Uh, um, um, uh, Dad was making, putting on the costumes. Yeah. Yep. That's right. You're going to watch those shoes. Just keep your eye on the shoes, okay? Knock, knock. Who's there? I don't know who's there. Let's see. I'm a great big gorilla. I see the shoes. Fat, furry arms and huge white teeth. When you let me in, I'm going to hug your breath away. Then I won't let you in. Knock, knock. I'm a wicked old witch with a long pointed hat and a wand full of magic. When you let me in, I'm going to turn you into a frog. Then I what? Won't let you in. Knock, knock. I'm a very creepy ghost with a face as white as a sheet and chains that go jangle and clank. When you let me in, I'm going to spook you. Did I spook you? Yeah. We then I won't let you in. Knock, knock. I'm a fierce, scaly dragon with smoke up my nose and fire in my mouth. When you let me in, I'm going to cook you for my tea. Then I won't let you in. Knock, knock. I'm the world's tallest giant with eyes like footballs and feet like a football pitch. 
When you let me in, I'm going to tread on you. Then I won't let you in. Knock, knock. I'm your big cuddly daddy with a mug of hot chocolate and a story to tell. Please, may I come in? Yeah. Come in, come in, come in. There's been a gorilla at my door and a witch and a ghost and a dragon and a giant. And yeah. I knew it was you, really. So all the time, who was it? Daddy. He right. was wearing costumes. Yep, he was wearing costumes, right? Okay, do we have one song we want to sing before we finish up? No. Not the dinosaurs. Do we have something? Yep. The American song? For, all right, can you turn around? Can you turn around? We're going to sing. Okay, you guys know the grand old flag, right? Are you ready? One, two, three. You're a grand old flag. You're a high flying flag. Peace may you wait. You're the emblem of the land I love. The home of the free and the brave. Every heart beats true for the red, white, and blue. Where there's never a boast or breath. Should old acquaintance be forgot. Keep your eye on the grand old flag. Yay! Say bye. Bye, everybody.